So while we're at it, let's make another video about injections. I'm doing my annual CDNT and low C boostering on my dose. So let's talk a little bit about anatomy real quick. Um, intramuscular IM means in the muscle. And most IM shots should be given in this muscle right here in the neck. Um, Sub-Q, S-Q means subcutaneous, which is under the skin. So we pull out some skin. The armpit area is a good area. If you need to give multiple injections, you can back up over the ribs. Um, like you can give sub-Q fluids under the ribs, on the ribs, under the skin. This is um, what's considered the per interperineal area. Uh, sometimes you do need to give injections interperneally. Um, th there's, you should never give a muscle, uh, an intramuscular shot in the leg as there is a nerve that runs right down this leg. And also the rear leg on a goat is considered uh, the prime cut. So if we're talking about a meat goat, uh, you don't want to damage the carcass there. So all shots, generally vaccines, vitamins, things like that, uh, banamine, should be given subcutaneously on a goat. Hormones like lutealis, PG-600, um, and uh, cysterellin, things like that, should be given intramuscularly in the neck. If you need to give two shots, what I do is I do one here and one on the other side. So I just clipped away a little bit of the hair in a patch here um, to see if we can see that a little bit better when I go ahead and give the injections. Here's some of our um, equipment that we're using today. I'm using BOSI. And uh, my CD&T vaccine. CD&T vaccine is 2 mLs um, sub-Q, no matter what size or breed. So a Nigerian dwarf would get 2 mLs, an Alpine would get 2 mLs. Uh, the BOCI is 2.5 mLs per 100, and that is a veterinary prescription. BOCI is, and like penicillin um, and biomyosin are generally really thick. So I use a, a bigger needle for those thicker medicines. This is an 18 gauge by one. The bigger the num the smaller the number, I'm sorry, on the needle, the larger diameter the hole in the needle. So an 18 is bigger diameter than a 23. So for the CDNT, I'm gonna go ahead and use a 20 by one. 20 is a pretty standard um, size for like vaccines, uh, thiamine, B complex, anything that's really liquid like that. Um, the 20 by 1 is adequate. So now we're going to go ahead and give the injection sub Q. You want to hold the bevel of your needle with the hole in the needle facing the goat. You want to come in tight and see. Can you see it okay? So we're going to go at an upward motion under the skin. I'm going to pull the skin out and I'm going to just put the needle right under. You should always pull back on your plunger to make sure no air is there. If you do get a big air bubble here, that means you've probably gone through the skin on the other side. Um, and if you get blood, we don't want that either. So you just pull back a little bit and that's a good placement. So we're going to go ahead and slowly uh, make our injection. I kind of twist my needle a little bit and apply pressure and then just wiggle it and rub it in a little bit. And there's our injection.